Audrey Summers with the news, meteorologist Ted Houghton, and Ray Herschel sitting in for Gary Deneen with sports. Good evening. The town of Amherst is trying to return to normal living conditions tonight after losing most of its water power on Thursday. The water crisis is now under control, but conservation measures will be necessary for the next few weeks. If you live in Amherst, you're being asked to conserve your water by cutting back showering, flushing your toilets, and not watering your garden. Amherst and University of Massachusetts officials meeting today decided students could return to the classroom and return to their dormitories after 2 o'clock tomorrow. Larry Sperano reports the students can get back to their studies. And when thousands of students begin to three weeks, Larry Sperano, TV40 News. A major power shakeup in Poland's Communist Party today. The party central committee appointing Politburo member Stanislaw Kania to Edward Garrick's position. The official word is Garrick was ousted from office as first party secretary because he was hospitalized for heart disease. But unofficially, Garrick is out because of the recent labor unrest in the country. And there may be some changes going on in Iran, specifically regarding the fate of our 52 hostages, today ending their 44th week of captivity. The Parliament Foreign Relations Committee meeting today, preparing for debate on how to handle the hostage situation. Although Iranian Foreign Minister Gotsbizadi is on his way out, he's telling Parliament the problem must be solved so the doors of friendship can open again to European and third world countries. Coming up, Reagan and Anderson trying to beat an incumbent president. So Campaigns for the presidency are moving into high gear. Ronald Reagan supporters are pushing to get the Republican nominee into the Oval Office. Bruce Frosch reports the Western Massachusetts campaign kicked off today with a rally introducing a new campaign song. It's my country and I'm proud to vote for Reagan. It's my country where freedom takes first place. It's my country but when someone Walter Lovell of Wilbraham and his daughter Donna opened the rally with a song they wrote for the local campaign. Lovell says they share Reagan's views in a big way and they wanted to contribute their talents to the effort. In attendance were area coordinators, elected officials, and those who hoped to get elected this year. House Minority Leader Bill Robinson keynoted the kickoff. In respect to some of Reagan's controversial statements, Robinson says Reagan is just having a little trouble in establishing his campaign rhythm like most new national candidates do. The rally also included a half-hour videotape in which Governor Reagan outlines his position on different issues. There were 400 meetings such as this all across the country today aimed at establishing committees to get into the neighborhoods and garner votes for the Reagan ticket. In Springfield, Bruce Frosch, TV40 News. President Carter will be getting a run for his